one of the major selling points of the new M1 Max is that you can install apps developed for iPhones or iPads onto your MacBook or Mac Mini. But Apple offers developers an option to opt out of having their app available on the Mac. That's why you only see limited number of iOS apps to download when you search for certain apps. The main reason I think developers don't like the idea of people downloading their iOS apps onto their Macs is that they want to charge twice for two platforms. For example, one of my favorite games, Kingdom Rush, is sold as an HD version on Mac App Store for extra money. Even if you had already purchased it on your iOS device. But there is a way to sideload your iOS apps directly from your iOS device to your Mac, or even without physically connecting the device to the Mac. There are two options here. The first one is called iMobi M1 App Checker. This one only requires you to have a Apple ID to download apps onto your Mac. Simply go to their website. The link is in the description below. Download and install the application. Open it and choose iPhone apps from the left. You can search for certain apps that you want to install on your map here. And you need to sign in your Apple ID first. If you don't trust the application enough, I would suggest registering a disposable account without any payment information. But this way you can't download any apps that you haven't purchased before. Therefore, it is your choice to trust it or not. I personally don't have much concerns here, so I just sign in and download the apps I want. Once downloaded, simply click this button on the right side and choose the folder you want the IPA file to save in. Then double click the file to install. The app will be installed to your Mac's application in a second. Then you can just double click to run. Most games nowadays support full screen running, so the experience is quite good to me. You can even sync with your iCloud account to get the saved data. The other option is called iMazing. This is a paid application, but you can use it for free for our purpose. First, Download it from their website. Install and run. Now you need to connect your iPhone or iPad to your Mac via USB cable. Once connected, you need to go to Manage Apps and click on Library. Select the app you want to install on your Mac. Right click on it and choose Download to Library. This will transfer the app from your iPhone or iPad to iMazing. When finished, Right click again and choose export IPA and choose the folder you want the IPA to save in. After that, double click the IPA file to install and double click again to run the app. Personally, I expect sometime in the future this method will not work because Apple may want to block it. But at this moment, it still works, so if for some reason you want some iOS app to run on your laptop, this is an almost perfect solution. Thanks for watching.